What are you doing? Nothing. 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 What's it look like? I'm riding a f***ing bike. Right, so all of that had to stop. We've been so lazy over the past week or so, and now we're gonna be productive. So welcome back to our channel, um, and you get to see what we've been doing. Okay, but before we do all that, we've got to wait for Emily, because as per usual, she's having a snack. I don't snack that much. It's a little snack, is it? Look, it's Saturday. Oh, what are you drinking? You got yourself a little drink to go with it. Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> no, not snack. Vodka, 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 vodka. Look, it's Saturday. Vodka, vodka, vodka. Right, okay, so we are, I'm just waiting for Emily, we're about to brave the, the supermarket. Um, I haven't started the van for quite some time, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Woohoo, close, but yeah, let's go. Right, so we've arrived. Um, the roads are really quiet, which is good. 
Um, Emily's just gone to get a couple of trolleys. Um, if you're wondering why we're getting two trolleys, it's because we're doing our shopping and we're doing shopping for my parents as well, because they are like in proper lockdown in their house, they can't leave. So yeah, it does look, it doesn't look busy, but there's a queue. Um, now this place is my worst nightmare as it is. So coming here during this situation is just ridiculous. Um, also, we've had a, a minor mishap. We bought a little a plant thing that grows out of a pot so it looks like it's got hair. That was going to be our entertainment for the next couple of weeks. Um, we forgot to take him off the shelf and that's what's left of him. So I might see if I can do something with the, the inside that's going to grow. Um, there she is, happy as ever. Um, so yeah, let's go and see how it is. So the queue's actually fairly short this time. We've got these little yellow markers on the floor to keep us two metres apart. Um, obviously a lot of people aren't bothering applying to that. They're just doing what they feel like, idiots. Oh, what are you doing? I need them, um, she's got large cream crackers. Large, what's the difference? What's a large cream cracker and what's a small cream cracker? No, she wants a big Oh, she means big packet. Maybe get the twin pack. Yeah, you can set the twin pack. Dean. Right, large cream crackers. Don't worry, mother, I've got you. This is Emily's favourite aisle because it's snacks. What? I like one snack and it's not there. And you ate my last of my sensations. No, I haven't. You best not have gone. You don't have to be that one. I haven't eaten them. Oh, it's so stressful. I have to buy snacks that you don't like. Right. All I've got- to like them if I need them. <laughs> yeah, there's a jam on here. Some kind of fruit jam. Hang on, let me look. Look, have you seen the length of this list? <laughs> I have to go through this entire list to try and find apricot, apricot jam. Orange, orange. No, apricot. <laughs> <laughs> apricot. Winner, winner. 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 I'll get the point. Got it. What's raspberry coolie? Oh, I don't know where that is. What is it? What's a coolie? It's like what you. Like a oh, like a... when you go to a posh restaurant yeah, and it... they put that like, red yeah. crap on your cake. Yep, got it. Easter eggs. Oh, Easter eggs. It's your writing. <laughs> no, shut up. Sugar, ice and sugar, meringue nest in the coolie. Could this be where the coolie is? Okay, so the problem I'm having is there's a, a one-way system and if you miss something, you can't go backwards. Uh, and I've got to be honest, the Tesco staff are on it, which is good. They are literally stopping you from going the wrong way. So I've missed about nine things off this list. So I think I'm just going to have to go around again until I get them all. It's not fun. However, Emily, who loves following a list and a one-way system and procedures and rules, is loving it. Are you, I'm saying you're loving it because there's a system. You like a system. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just stopping now, so I'm making a little dance. <laughs> you got coolie? Yeah. Went up, found a coolie. Raspberry coolie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what I might do next time is I'm going to combine the lists and she can just keep her list and we can just take it out as when we get back because when you're trying to do it from two different ones it's just... Yeah, well if you was more organised you would have done that before we got here. You could have amalgamated our two lists into some sort of alphabetical what are you order doing? situation. I'm pushing the trolley. That's it, <laughs> giving out orders. No. You couldn't even go back for a second bread roll. Where are you going? I t I'm ticking stuff off. I'm chief ticker. You achieve something. Look, you get the most expensive ones. One pound seventy. These are sixty-five pounds. Oh well, I didn't know. Well, you've touched that one now, yeah. so you've got to buy it. <laughs> no, 
please, don't be all yes. that. You look before you touch stuff. How many times do I have to touch Well, I couldn't because I'm not allowed two metres in front of me. And if I'd have gone two metres to look for it, I can't go back two metres to see if I can have the one I originally saw. You've got to get it while you can, oh, babe. Yeah, get scared then. Yeah, you've got to buy that one. Now you've touched it. She hasn't got them on her list. Look, she's had two weeks to write this list. I'm sure she knows what she wants. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Right, Mum, where will I find seafood sticks? Are they frozen or are they in a packet? They're in a packet, like fresh. Okay, because Emily's left me and now I'm just like flying solo around to Tesco's. Yeah, but you can't, you can't go back round, that's the problem. They can't, you, like, you, yeah. I've got to start again, yeah, I've got to go round again. Yeah, I'm winning, I'm winning at shopping. Oh, do you know what, Emily said, get hot dog sausages. I said, they're not on the list. And she went, yeah, but she wants them. I said, but they're not on the list. So I made her not get them and now you want them, didn't you? So you're going to make her win again. Oh, there you are. Um, she does want hot dog sausages. Okay, so I'm safely back at the van. Um, it's a lot of pressure, you know, but I feel that the, the woman at the, the checkout, she was very much getting the ump of how slow I am at packing. And I apologize to my mother in advance. It's all over the place. Yeah, hang on, but can I just get out? Look, it's not very well organized. I've got fridge stuff in with cupboard stuff. I've got frozen in with veg of easter eggs there so they need those and some extra profiteroles that weren't on the list but i thought they might appreciate them right now we're gonna try and get home Right, so that was pretty much what we got up to last week. Um, there's not much we can be doing really. We're trying to stay as productive as we can, and get on with bits and pieces. Um, you probably noticed that I am back in the van and I'm in the van by myself. Um, not so much because Emily and I are bickering, although we are bickering, um, but no, it's because where I live, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm massively into wildlife photography and where I live, there's a little owl that I've been able to hear outside the house for about two years and I've never actually seen him. Um, I photographed a lot of little owls in the past, we've got loads where we live, but I usually travel to go and photograph them because I know where they perch, where they feed and whatnot. Whereas this one, I don't, I just know he makes a lot of noise at night time, so I am going to camp out here for a couple of days and see if I can get a decent shot of him. Um, if you don't know what a little owl is, I will stick uh, an image over this bit of talking now so you guys can have a look. They're basically what, the, what their names suggest, they're a little tiny owl. Um, they're a really cool bird. <laughs> in fact, they're a lot like Emily. They're very, very small um, with a permanently angry face and you will see what I mean. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm out here because I can't, obviously with the lockdown, I can't get out and about with the camera for wildlife photography. So I'm going to see what I can photograph from my own home stroke van. Um, but yeah, it's a big reason why we got the first, well, why I wanted the first van, although don't tell Emily that because she doesn't know, but it's because it's like a, basically it's a mobile hide. So yeah, um, I will stick a link to uh, an Instagram account I've got for the wildlife photography. It's at Louise Stockbridge and I will link that in the description below. And I'll also link down, we've got a, uh, an Instagram page for the both of us for like the travels and all the van stuff. And there's a few more build pictures and whatnot on there. So that is at Camper Vibe and I will link that in the description below. Uh, yeah, but for now, I'm going to get set up, probably be quite a late night, very early start in the morning, I reckon I've got a better chance first thing in the morning. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Alright, morning guys. 
Uh, it's about, I don't know, half five, something like that, quarter past five. Uh, so far, the owl is a no-show, and I've not actually heard him at all all night or all morning, so I don't think it's going to be this time. But I will keep trying. I will probably appear in here in more vlogs uh, looking for the same owl, uh, and I'll keep you guys posted, but for now, it's probably not going to be today. Tiles. We bought five packs of tiles, didn't we? Yeah, we bought five packs. Yes, because you wanted to buy six, and I told you that your work is out was wrong. Yeah, but I knew you was going to do the tiling, and I thought we needed a second spare now pack did. in case. Yeah, now but then did. I did all the cutting, didn't I? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone over our budget. What was our budget? What should I guess? Is it more? Yeah. How much? That's ridiculous. Yeah, but, right? Well, you're all in. If we get rid of your shitty all in, then that takes it right down. Everything in here is yours. It's yours. No, <laughs> no, no you miss, you're misunderstanding. Everything in there I fitted, but it's ours. <laughs> it's not mine, otherwise all you're going to have is a bit of bunting. <laughs> Uh, actually, I cleaned all the van, I helped with the insulation. Insulation? <laughs> yes, you did. For five I helped, minutes. Uh, no, I done a lot of that. I done a lot of the foil taping. You did do a lot of the foil I done taping. a lot of the rush treatment. You didn't do any rush treatment? I did. <laughs> with rush the purple spray. Oh, that with the INX afterwards. Still no, done it's it. not rush treatment. <laughs> what is it? It brought up the rust. <laughs> And we wash it off. It brought up the swarf. Swarf. Yeah, that. Swarf. <laughs> That's what you said. It. The swarf. How would you say it then? Swarf. <laughs> swarf. You banged it. <laughs> right. What else you got? Anyway, yeah. I done all the painting, pretty much ninety-eight percent of it. Ah, uh, the paint. You did do the painting. Yeah. Mm. I bought all of the teas, all of the coffees, all the lunches. Well, well, not all. <laughs> Some days you just went out. <laughs> yeah, but that fridge, that fridge was expensive. Yeah, I know, right? They just rip you off as soon as it's like a little one. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bargain. I know, I married a little one and I've been ripped off. You got a bargain. <laughs> I did not get a bargain. Right, so that's probably about it for this week. Um, I think you can probably see that video is mostly filler. Um, Emily has now joined me in the van. Uh, so, and I think she's going to get set up to do um, some stuff with regards to this cooker. Well, I need to tidy up after you first. I don't know if you can <laughs> see the mess that she leaves it. Um, yeah, no, so I'm just going to tidy up and then I'm going to get ready and going to bake a cake um, using the lovely cooker. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to do a video um, review on this from the um, installing it and then using it and cooking in it and yeah so we've used the grill haven't used the oven as of yet so first thing cake yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so basically we've had a lot of questions about that loads of questions about it so about how hot it gets uh, what we've done around it to fit it and all that so we'll include all of that in probably the next video maybe we'll see yeah that's it guys um if you like the video ding the bell thumbs up and subscribe but yeah thanks guys for watching and thanks. we'll see you next time Bye.